Like many young Aussies, I moved to London in my 20s uh, with the sort of dream of the work and play holiday. Whilst I was there, I actually forged a new career for myself in business. And one of the only sort of activities I could do to keep myself fit when I was traveling or on the road was running. But it wasn't until my last year living in London, 2010, that I did my first park run. I went to Wimbledon Common Park Run. And I did it a couple of times and I thought, this thing got legs, literally. And I sent a, uh, an email to the park run website uh, the founder of Parkrun, Paul Sinton Hewitt, got back to me. We met up in a cafe, had a coffee, talked about the possibilities of bringing it to Australia. After 10 years of living in London, I wanted a lifestyle change, I wanted to live near the beach, I wanted to live somewhere really active and healthy. And the deal was done. We decided it was going to happen and that Australia would become the first Southern Hemisphere country to have a Parkrun. I'm Tim Oberg and I'm part of the Parkrun family here in Australia. I knew the Gold Coast was going to be a fantastic place to start Parkrun. We were looking for somewhere with wide open spaces, long sandy beaches, trails and mountains to run through and the Gold Coast just ticked all the boxes. So no matter how old you are, whether you're 65 plus or you're four years old, no matter your ability, whether you're an Olympic athlete or a first timer, you are welcome at Parkrun. Nobody has to be embarrassed about not being able to run real fast. A person that runs a 5K in 15 minutes gets the same enjoyment as a person that walks 5Ks on Saturday and takes 50 minutes. I'm Greg Harvey. I'm an avid park runner. I've been doing it seven years and I haven't run a complete five kilometres yet. Despite what you might think, park run's actually not about running. It's about community and it's about bringing communities together in these incredible open spaces that the city of Gold Coast has to offer. Volunteering at Parkrun is a great thing to do and for some people it's all they do at Parkrun. And unlike many other organisations, we don't talk about giving your time at Parkrun, but we talk about all the things that people gain by volunteering at Parkrun. You gain skills, you gain friends, you gain a connection to your community that you wouldn't get in many other places. I didn't have any friends. I didn't want any friends. Going to park run for me was hiding, blending in. I didn't feel like I was good enough to go through the finish line or I didn't think I was good enough for people to talk to me. But over time, and people spoke to me and I was included. I'm Libby Maxwell. I'm one of the event directors at Majuraba Park Run. Park run didn't just change my life, it, it saved my life. In my early 20s, I had an accident where I slipped down some stairs in the rain and I fractured my back. That led into an eating disorder for me for six or seven years. Once you're in the grips of that, it is so hard to get rid of it. When I started to see some great results of Parkrun and I was, I was um, really loving being there, I was thinking to myself, I need to do something to give back. I originally started doing some volunteer roles, like I'd do the timekeeping one week, you know, I'd hand out the finish tokens the next week. Since Parkrun, like, it's led me to do so many things that I would never have done in my life. 90% of the friends that I have now, I've met through Parkrun, and these are some friendships that are going to be lifelong for me. Healthier, happier, free for everyone, forever. We are Parkrun, we are Gold Coast.